Hey everybody, it's Michelle with Michelle's Frugal Living and thanks for watching my videos. Welcome to my new subscribers. And I'm going to talk about Rite Aid video value coupons and printing multiple coupons from the same computer. And it is not difficult to do as long as you follow some simple procedures so that, um, you know, it'll, it'll, it, what it needs to do is print unique, um, barcodes on each computer, um, each set of coupons. Now, um, you can print one video value coupon per account or card, um, uh, write a card that you have. Um, you know, if, if it ends up letting you print two of them from the same account, they're both going to have the same identical barcode on them. And the computer, the coupon is only going to work one time. Okay, so that's why you only do one per account. Now, let's say that you and your husband both have a Rite Aid card and you want to get unique barcodes on those coupons from each of those accounts. Now, you're going to have to use incognito mode if you use Google Chrome or you need to use in private browsing for um, Firefox and if you use Internet Explorer it's called private browsing okay and somehow it masks your computer ID or something I don't know and it allows you to do more than one Rite Aid coupon per computer okay and it's the same thing with printing Rite Aid coupons off of their Facebook account Rite Aid's Facebook account if you want more than one of those on the same computer then you need to um, open up the the link to the comp uh, coupon in in private browsing or um, incognito is what I use uh, on Google Chrome. And um, each of those coupons you would put in a unique email address um, so that it generates a new barcode. Okay. Um, so I made a video just talking about incognito mode and private browsing and how to get there from each of the browsers. Um, that video is in a playlist on my YouTube homepage. It's um, in the playlist called Couponing for Everyone, I believe. Okay, so you can go watch that if you need more specifics on how to use incognito or whatever. Now, I have this window open incognito, and I know that because it's got the little spy guy right there. And um, I've already logged in to an account on Rite Aid's website. And this is the first screen that you see when you log into an account, okay? I've got this on here and this covering up the account information, so you guys can't see it. But um, anyhow, on this screen, if you go down here, there's a little place right there. It says video values. For some reason today that link isn't working. Um, so another way to get to video values is right there where it says wellness. Go there, click on wellness programs, and then down here is video values. Okay, so now I'm going to click on that, and it's loading the video values. Okay, so once the video values are right here, you can um, you know, click on any of these little sections right here. Um, sometimes there's more than other times, okay? And each of them have videos inside of there. So you click on one of those, you watch the video, okay? And after the video runs, it pops up a thing and it says print. So you could print the coupon right then, but what I like to do is do six at a time at least um, because it prints six per page if you choose to pick six at a time. So let's say we, we watch some videos and then right up here where it says my rewards, I go ahead and I just click on that. And, um, and then you can see that here's a video that I haven't, a uh, coupon that I haven't printed yet, but these ones I've already printed. Okay, and then it'll lay out multiple pages right here. You can click through. You can select all right there and print them all at the same time if you want to. But anyways, if you just, you want to print whatever ones you want to print, you can just click in the little box there and then hit print now. Okay. So let's pretend like we printed them and they came out the printer. Now I want to close this one because I want to go over to a second account and print that. Okay. So basically, 
I need to get out of this account. Now, up here at the top, there isn't anything that says log out right here, okay? This, this to me, is an important step as well because um, you need to log out of it, okay? Log out of your Rite Aid account. So what I always do is click on RiteAid.com right here after I get done, and it brings me back over to the Rite Aid's page, but I'm still logged in. You can't see the name. It says hello. And so hover over that, and then down here at the bottom is the log out thing. Okay? And um, right there it says log out. So I always log out before I leave incognito. So now, um, you know, and now it says log in. Um, so you can, I do that, and then I close this window. Okay? Close it. And then start all over again. All right. So um, you do not just log out of it, log into another account. That's what causes the problems. You got to close that window. And um, since we're on my YouTube homepage right here, um, the other thing is, is you might check your email. Um, there it is. How to videos, the incognito. Um, video right there. Okay, um, check your video value or your, you know, just your plain Rite Aid account. Do you have the same email address on any of the accounts? That could be causing, that's a definite problem. Someone that just became the issue that solved someone's problem of two of the accounts kept printing the same barcodes. Check all the emails. They need individual email addresses. They need different phone numbers on them as well. Um, that your street address I don't think matters as much because Rite Aid connects cards because of phone numbers and probably, well, the email address on the coupon printing. So check those. If that doesn't do it for you, I really don't know what to tell you. <laughs> um, unless somehow two of the cards, Rite Aid has already linked two of the cards together, and which could be the case, okay? So um, always use in private browsing and always log out of your account before you close that window. And, um, and that's what I do, and it always works for me. I've never had an issue um, doing it that way. All right, I'll talk to you guys later.